and Harry, we want to say goodnight to you. kind of stopped for a second and looked at what I turned to to listen to and what I was watching and all that kind of stuff and was like what does it actually mean to make something and what does it mean to me to make something as my job so my favorite thing about this album is while it's so different I think it was very much made with the same intent as fine line which is what if you can boil I it down I think it just felt like from the first album I think it wasn't necessarily like a super commercial album. And I think there was something in doing the tour and people coming and dancing and having a good time it made me feel like, okay, you just want me to make what I want to make. Obviously with the knowledge that like, if my favorite artist, if I went to a show and felt like, okay, they've stopped doing what they want to do, mm. then like, it's not fun. It's not exciting watching someone like fake it. Like putting out the first single from this album was far and away the most relaxed I've ever felt putting anything out. I no longer feel like my overall happiness is, is kind of dependent on whether a song goes here or goes here. You've got to be a fan of what you make. For sure. Hmm. I think the fun thing is like listening to 
I don't know, like Bill Evans or mm. like Samuel Barber or like I listened to like the Swan Lake mm. thing a bunch and stuff. And I kind of felt like you can reference things by like the emotions that they evoke. I want to make music that I can always make in my life. Like that's it. I just that's what I want to do. And everything else is like what it will be. And that's kind of 